2x, 3x, 5x, and yes, 10x gains. These juicy altcoin returns that have happened over the last 30 days. What if I were to tell you that these are absolutely nothing compared to what's coming in the bull run? Again, you need to understand where we are and where we're going you also need to understand what just happened so that you don't get yourself completely trapped. If you don't understand what's going on in this market, you are going to be fish food to the absolute whales and sharks out there swimming around the market beside you. Because believe me, the OGs in crypto land are mostly not your friends. They are looking to extract value from inferior market participants. And my hope is that this channel can give you a little bit of knowledge so that you can swim faster than the bait. So let's dive in because I know that you've seen the charts. You've seen those up only green candles. Everybody's screaming about insane returns that they've gotten. And most of you guys are left on the sidelines. And you know why? For most of you, it's not your fault. It's because you drank the Kool-Aid on this bear market narrative. You believed a bunch of macro bears that convinced you the world was ending instead of listening to your pal Elio Trades, who told you that the Fed was injecting liquidity. This is my content from March 2023. This is when I told you guys I was flipping into a bull, a real bull, bull market Elio Trades trades. But that doesn't mean that we're stupid here. We know that this is all gambling for our future. We want a better life, all of us. And we've all been screwed by this fiat system, which prints money and ruins the value of our daily labor. Hey, if we could work at the roller rink here, flip burgers, maybe repair cars and feed a family, put our kids through college and chill out with our wives, well, we'd all do that. Honestly, it's probably a lot less stressful than trading crypto coins. But the reality is the system is rigged and we're all taking the speculative bet that this is the way to make our lives better. But remember, it is a speculative bet. There's a chance that this totally peters out. Again, I don't believe that's going to happen. That's not how I've allocated my assets, but there is a chance and you need to understand that. And if Bitcoin crashes and breaks below 32K, breaks below 25K, whatever the number is, we could see an absolute destruction of value in altcoins. And you need to assume that risk, that it is a 70 to 99% downside risk, but the upside is completely uncapped. You've already seen 10X gains across the board in gaming coins. That's a thousand percent. And if we go another 10X from here over the course of the next year or so, so that would be 10,000% or the hallowed 100x. So today we're going to give you my plan to make an absolute monstrous amount of money from this market. And I'm going to show you how I've already been matching my words with actions. I don't think anybody has done it like I've done it this year. But again, past performance, what I've done yesterday doesn't mean that tomorrow will be the same. With that said, let's look at this. This is what Bitcoin has looked like over the last year, as everyone's been screaming for the economy to fall apart and the world to fall apart. Meanwhile, I've been saying, hey, look, if the banks fail, that's bullish for Bitcoin because they'll put more money in. If we get a recession, that's bullish for Bitcoin because they'll put more money into the system. More money equals Bitcoin go higher. It's really that simple. We have Twitter founder Jack talking about taking your Bitcoin off exchanges. Elon responding about about not your keys, not your coins. Obviously, he didn't quite get it right. That's okay. We have old crooked Liz Warren, literally the most crooked politician in the world, rampaging on behalf of her banker friends against crypto, making up yet another narrative that will shortly be disproven, trying to make people hate crypto. Again, what she doesn't realize is this is amazing marketing for crypto. But remember when I kept telling you that Max Payne was up, that everyone was on the sidelines, they all drank that bear market Kool-Aid, and as the market goes up, 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 it goes against what everyone, even the hardest core crypto believe wanted to happen. Everyone wanted Bitcoin to go down to 12K, to 10K, to 5K, so they could buy it with all their net worth and sail off into the sunset as a Bitcoin bazillionaire. Well, guess what? It didn't give you that option. And for the last year, you have to realize Max Payne is what the market was doing. And Max Payne was up because no one was in the market. Well, what we've been seeing is bear capitulation. Look at this 90 day chart for Bitcoin, right? There's literally not a dip. It's just up, up, up and away. Okay. That's not usually how the market looks. If you look at any other period, there's ups, downs, ups, downs, ups, downs. It's usually not like this, what you're seeing over here. And that's why I believe what you're seeing is effectively bears capitulating, throwing in the towel and saying, screw it. We'll just buy higher than we wanted to. And that's why every level just gets bought up, up, up. And people are losing their patience, believing Believing that the dip might not come. And so there's a possibility here that if we break 50K, which would feel like, oh my God, we're over 50K, we're spitting distance from Bitcoin's all time high. I feel like things would get a little euphoric and maybe every single bear and their grandma and their grandma's cousins would jump in and start throwing money into Bitcoin and maybe 
just maybe that would mark a local top. This is again some crystal ball stuff. I'm just sharing with you my general mental model for where max pain is gonna be. Because if you understand that the market loves to make people feel pain to the upside, as you've seen over the last year, and then if we get a nice break above 50K, maybe max pain would be, as I'm saying here, maybe, not a guarantee, but maybe, max pain would be to go down for a bit. Who knows? Again, if you've been buying like me when it was uncomfortable during those big red washout days, then you're not tripping during this whole period. And if we start getting max pain actually grinding down and having a dip into the 30s again, which might seem unthinkable for the bears if we break 50, well, you're going to want to strategize how to allocate during that dip. But if you just FOMO'd in at the top of 50K, you'll be questioning your whole life during that dip. I'm just preparing you for some of the mental jujitsu that happens here before I run through the strategy of how to make literally life-changing wealth Again, assuming that this market gives us another bull run, which I think it is. This is how you make money, right? You actually strategize during the times where people get freaked out. And that way, when everyone's freaking out and bullish, you already have your bags packed. You're not the one panicking to get into the market. That's how you get truly screwed. But I'm just gonna be real with you. If this market does what we think it's gonna do, and it really feels like that, but again, odds, right? This is probabilities. There's a probability it goes up, there's a probability it goes down, and if Bitcoin collapses, everything goes down. So just understand, you're looking at like a 70% loss to a potential 10,000 percent gain. To me, that's the roll of the dice. We're gambling here, but to me, it's a smart gamble. I think it's a smart gamble. But let's get into the truth here because this is what the charts really look like when you zoom out. This is total three, which is the total crypto market caps excluding Bitcoin and Ethereum, right? This is like the altcoins, right? And what you can see here is that we're approaching this massive breakout period where if we break out here, if we break out here, we could go all the way up here to new highs. I mean, look what happened when this happened last time. We went all the way up from about a um, hundred billion dollars, right? About a hundred billion. When we broke out of accumulation last time, we were at about a hundred billion dollars. Let me get the prices here, as you can see. We were about a hundred billion dollars in total altcoin value, and we made it up here to 1.3 trillion, right? And so if we have a similar breakout, right, which is just call it a 10X for easy math, we're at here at about 400 billion. If we break out, we could make it to 4 trillion. That is way, way, way up here. I can't have even gotten there yet. It's up here, right? If we have the same level of gains. So understand, this is what all the charts are looking like right now. This is the accumulation schematic for a Wyckoff. You know, this is like the psychology of a market cycle where things get accumulated down below these lines and once they break out, they break out. What you'll find is that some of these charts are looking like textbook accumulation schemes from the Wyckoff chart. Look at this, okay? Look at this chart, look at this bounce. And now look at that. This and that. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. This is crazy. This is exactly what you want to see. And quite frankly, we're seeing the same thing on the total three market caps, right? Which means that the charts are screaming for this market to just rip higher, to just absolutely rip higher, okay? So even if I twisted dark fantasy here about Bitcoin breaking 50K and then grinding lower for a few weeks or months plays out, just know that I think it's all a precursor to one of the most ridiculous bull cycles we've ever seen. And I'll be strategizing on how I add positions throughout that dip. Because as you know, I was buying heavily during the dips to 25K to 22K. I was the one screaming in early March of 2023, hey guys, it's a bull run. And nobody believed me. So next time people put on their doubter caps and you zoom out and realize that the charts are getting ready for a ripper, in my opinion, that's your time to strategize. But let's get to the punchline here. How do we actually make max amount of gain? So first off, some receipts, okay? Receipts. Elliot, what have you said that's so right? If you're new to this channel, here's the deal. I literally have been buying Solana all year throughout the teens. I think I was buying in the $13 was my lowest buy. I bought all the way up through the low 20s and I've been calling it for the better part of the year. It's the most obvious non-consensus bet in the entire industry. And now we're ripping up to $68 fresh new highs on the year, about three to four X from my original call. And this is a top 10 coin, all right? Top 10 coins are not the riskiest coins. Like these are not going to zero. Your risk of loss is significantly less than the DGen coins. Anyway, on to the next one. I've been covering Immutable X for a long time. I'm a seed investor and I've been holding throughout the entire bear market, absolutely loving their updates. And this chart is ridiculous. Like I said, this is actually one of the most ridiculous charts I've seen. And it perfectly follows that accumulation distribution. If it breaks out here, here, it's looking at targets much higher. But more importantly, like I've said many times, Immutable and their new partnership with Polygon, it puts them at the center of the gaming ecosystem. But let's go rapid fire here. Cedify fund, okay? I talked about Cedify here at 60 something cents. It's up here at $3. That is ridiculous, okay? 
Prime, look at this chart, okay? I talked about Prime a few times throughout the bear market. Here we go in that gaming Bible, we talked about Prime at three bucks, 50 cents. Here it is well over two X. Gala, look at the chart. Ronin, oh my God, almost 4X here on Ronin since we talked about it. Merit Circle, absolutely smoking the gains up here from about 45 cents up to $1.60, a 4X, a clean 4X on Merit Circle. And Beam is the new version of their project. And just so you guys heard this here first, Immutable, Beam, and Polygon are doing this joint partnership here where they have this uh, three cartridges plugging into the Game Boy here. They are creating a ZK EVM ecosystem where Beam is bringing some cool technology to Immutable X, which is built upon this Polygon ZK EVM. It's like this three-headed snake that's here to take over gaming. And it's definitely something that you need to understand is going to drive the next wave, in my opinion, of the gaming movement. And if you need any more reason to be wildly bullish on Immutable X, like I have been, the amount of IMX I've held through this bear market with a smile on my face is wild. And you'd probably be shocked. But Vanek just put out this prediction that a breakout blockchain game may surpass 1 million daily active players. I think that's undershooting it this cycle. But they believe Immutable X is poised to climb the market cap ranks with key releases as Passport and the wallet usage. I don't think this is really what it is about. Immutable Passport's cool and all, but the most important thing here is that there are a monster amount of games coming to Immutable X. There is a monster amount of development happening on Immutable X. Their partnership with Beam and now Polygon makes those three coins this insane nexus of crypto gaming power, and they are setting themselves up for monster things going forward, absolutely monster things. Definitely more on that when we do more coin videos, but just understand, I'm gonna be going deep on gaming, and I believe when you look back at the content I've made as to how people can understand gaming, positioning, Immutable X, Merit Circle, now Beam, of course, understanding their relationship to Polygon, which was the prior big gaming blockchain, this is a powerhouse of gaming collaboration, and they all benefit from this partnership, it's really cool. We also see them predicting Solana to become a top three blockchain. I believe this is, these are some sick predictions, but I think this one is even more realistic. The Immutable X prediction is even more realistic. I'd be shocked if they don't have a million DAU game by the end of 2025. Illuvium, again, we covered it here around 40 bucks. It hit almost 120, one of the bigger coins and Sidus. I mean, Sidus, literally, we talked about it at 0 0.0008 and it hit uh, it pretty much a 10x, right? 10x, full 1000% gains. What's cool about Sidus is that they actually have just so many different things going on in their ecosystem. They're winning some awards here, but they really focus on the casual gaming aspect. Now it looks like they're even creating a gaming launchpad, which by the way, if you remember, c Fund is going absolutely bananas on the launchpad narrative. I don't know, gaming launchpads to me, it just is an easy way to see price go up, number go up. Again, Sidus did sponsor the channel here. I think it's quite funny though, because there's an extremely high performing product Project here. But as you can see, only top quality sponsors are the ones I let on my channel. And I'll be honest, I'm not doing any more sponsorships. I agreed to this with Sidus a long, long time ago. And so I just made good on it. But as you can see, this is a ridiculously good project here. There's so many heads of this snake on Sidus. It's, it's hard to keep track of. They even wrote this book here, which is like a lore book, which apparently has been selling like hundreds of thousands of copies. It is a crazy little universe that they've built on Sidus. And I just encourage you guys, follow them, check it out. It's definitely worth your time to pay attention to a game ecosystem like Citus. They're very focused on hyper casual and easy to access gaming that you can just play in your browser. The point here is that Citus has given disgusting levels, disgusting levels of gains. Okay. Now I even gave you just two meme coins, which was Pepe and Bonk. And look at this Bonk chart. Apparently it's getting listed on Coinbase. That's the rumor right now, but it's well over 2X from where I gave uh, the call on Bonk saying that this was one of my only meme coin positions. What can I say? The last 30 days has been one of the most insane runs I've ever been on as a trader. It's been one of the most insane moments I've ever witnessed in the market. Obviously, if you're following my projects, you know what they are. I'm not gonna talk about them here right now because there is so much coming. I'm gonna save up all that energy for when we announce this stuff in January, but just know that there's nothing I'm more excited about than what I'm working on right now. And I'm literally coming out of my skin. I wanna talk about it so badly, but you'll have to strap in and wait just a little longer. That said, I could go on and on and on. This is one of the biggest moments of max opportunity in the markets. It's early in the cycle. Bitcoin still hasn't hit its prior all-time high. We're looking at the ETF, election year, potential rate cuts and stimulus coming into the markets. It is a phenomenal time to be in crypto land. Regardless of what happens short-term, there is a 
huge bull case to be made for 2024 being a life-changing moment. So understand this. There are two narratives that you need to focus on. It is gaming and AI. And the coins that dominate in gaming and AI are the ones that will dominate throughout the entire market cycle. That's my belief. Simplify your life and focus on those. I'm gonna be coming out with a God tier coins list. So if you guys are excited for that, smash that like button and make sure you put on post notifications. Turn that notification bell on here on YouTube or else you may miss the video when it comes out. You might be number 200,000 to see the video. These videos have been going crazy on the channel. So I appreciate you guys, but make sure you have those notifications on because we're gonna be dropping ridiculous alpha here going forward. Only top quality videos, only videos packed with information, okay? So let's get to the deep end of the pool and tell you some crazy things that you can be doing right now, especially if you're trying to run it up from almost nothing. This next segment is for people who might be starting out completely wrecked, who might not have any money to really put into this market. Check this out. This guy, not short, not Xavier J, okay? Go check this guy out. He made over 200 grand on the JTO airdrop, and this is a Solana ecosystem coin which now has just been listed on Coinbase, Jito, right? What does it do? Jito allows you to stake your Solana and earn a liquid staking token, stake soul, that has some yield to it. It's just like stake ETH. So this is like the Lido Finance, if you know what that is, of Solana. And what we're seeing here is that people who were believers in the Solana ecosystem, who are playing in the Solana ecosystem, are making crazy money. And he goes through this guide, which is a 15 minute guide. This is a 17 year old that just made 200 grand for free on an airdrop. And he's telling you what he's doing with other airdrops. So go watch this video. And I know you're thinking, oh, I don't, I don't have what it takes to compete with these airdrops. I don't have a ton of money to do all these transactions. That, my friends, is an absolute cop out, a terrible excuse, because there are people who made five to ten thousand dollars on the Jito airdrop who staked one Solana, one Solana for one day, literally under 60 bucks for that Solana staked for one day. No one can tell me that they can't afford that as an opportunity to make four to five figures for free. That is absolutely game changing. And it's not the only thing that's coming because you also had Jupiter Exchange, which is the Uniswap of Solana. Now there's a whole tidal wave of coins on Solana coming. So watch this video and understand that farming airdrops in the Solana ecosystem is going to absolutely be the key to unlocking free ways to glow up this bull run. If you feel like you missed out, if you feel like you're starting from zero and you just can't afford to get into gaming coins, you can't afford to get the AI coins that you want, well, you absolutely need to start farming airdrops on Solana yesterday. Do it yesterday. Costs almost nothing. So no excuses. Just get active and start farming. Next is that we have AI metaverse IDOs here. This is going to happen on things like Cetify. If this market continues to get insanely hot, these launchpad projects will allow people to do some crazy flips. Like usually the launchpad projects have massive, massive returns. That is just how this works when the market gets really hot. I told you guys literally 600% ago that I was getting into Cetify. Anyway, they have a whole bunch of different tiers. So you could start with really small tiers, but in the end, you're going to want to have some allocation to launchpad projects because launch pads are where you can get these quick flips. Again, you could start with not very much and know that if you get into a hot launch pad project, you get some allocation, you could double, triple, maybe even 10x your money. And so if you're starting with not so much money and you're trying to run it up hot, you're going to want to be farming stuff on Solana, those airdrops, and you're going to want to be having some launch pad IDO allocations. That's the way to make some quick and dirty gains here in crypto land. And then you can start accumulating those high conviction plays in gaming, in AI, the stuff that is going to to grow over years and years and transform the industry. And most importantly, they're in the hot narratives, right? You want to understand the narratives. And I made a video just a few days ago on my favorite coins that are going to go absolutely bananas. I've made two of those videos. There's a gaming Bible and then there's a general altcoin Bible. Go check those out. All right. Those are all rock solid, those picks. And finally, I want to be real here because this is something I believe in. Whether or not you think this is good or bad, I don't care. There are games out right now. In fact, there's one I invested into that I'm a seed investor into. And just to be clear, it's up insanely from my seed investment, insanely. So insanely that I, that I shudder to even talk about it because the price has performed so much. But players in this game are making literally six figures over the last six to eight weeks playing and farming stuff within this game. The quickest way to get rich soon will be farming stuff in Web3 games because it's such a hot narrative and these coins are pumping so crazy that being able to farm coins within these games is going to be life changing. And one of those games, the ones that I'm talking about that I'm invested in, is called Big Time. And as you can see, this thing has pumped all the way to a dollar. It's cooling off dramatically here, but it was at 
you know, 15 cents just a few weeks ago, absolutely monstrous pump um, with insane volume, almost half a billion dollars in daily volume. You can see here it's at a huge FDV. So I don't know where it goes price wise, but I can tell you that the players in this game are pulling in monstrous amounts of money because they're about to airdrop almost 30 million big time tokens to players in their game over the next few weeks. I believe that the next season ends in January, right? So at a dollar, that would be $30 million of new assets going into the market that they're just giving out to their players. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Check out big time where you can play what I think of as a really sick looking MMORPG and farm literally ridiculous amounts of crypto. This is the world where gaming and crypto start to truly intermesh. Look, if more players catch on to this, this could be massive for the big time economy. Again, we're not even in the bull run if you're not looking into games like big time and ways that you can just play and earn sick amounts of crypto. And this isn't for everybody, right? If you're just a hardcore investor, you don't have time, that's fine. But if you're looking to earn and earn big, I think getting into early games like big time, which is really brand new, learn how to farm stuff in the game is a massive, massive opportunity. So don't short yourself on the farming opportunities, whether they're airdrop farming on Soul or literally playing a video game. Come on, who doesn't want to play a video game and earn five to six figures? Absolutely nuts. Now, to be clear, I haven't done any farming in big time, but I just think it's so cool that we're entering into an era where this is even possible. I mean, come on, this is insane. And this is why I'm so convinced these applications will eventually eat the internet. I genuinely believe there will be high school kids that buy their parents parents, cars, and houses from grinding Web3 games. And those stories are going to make massive, massive impact. And once again, I'd highly encourage you to go to Superverse DAO and put the notifications on. Once again, January is going to be an entirely new era for this project. And I sincerely hope you guys are strapped in and ready because this is something that the foundation and the team has been working on for a very long time and we're extremely proud to present. And it's something that quite frankly, this community deserves none more than you. There are no accidents here. Anyway, that's all I'll say for now. So to recap here, Bitcoin's been on a mad tear because we're witnessing bear capitulation. I believe that we'll see this continue. There's a percentage chance that it doesn't. And in that case, you could lose 70 to 90% of your crypto. But if things continue, the upside is 1,000 to 10,000%. So to me, that's the trade-off. And you need to be willing to accept those odds, a massive destruction of value, but the upside is pretty much uncapped. Them's the odds, them's the numbers. With that said, we could see a spike here above 50 and then some cool off. I wouldn't be shocked. We could also see the ETF bring an absolutely staggering amount of new money into Bitcoin. I'm prepared for either because I've been accumulating bags throughout this entire year. And dare I say, my bags are packed. But for those who might not have their bags packed, a massive correction from above 50K to maybe into the 30s, the low 30s, that would be an opportunity. If you guys have missed this whole run, that would be your opportunity. I believe, that's my opinion. I might be wrong, but I would see that as the chance. If you missed all of the 2023 run, you want to snag that dip before the halving. That said, there's no guarantees. This cycle could truly be different because we're getting the ETF bid. Who knows? We'll find out. But if you're running it up from zero, just know that none of this should matter because you should be farming airdrops on Solana. Farming airdrops like the Layer Zero airdrop, which will be one of the biggest of the year, and that just got announced. In my opinion, you should be trying to get yourself into some launch pads because those launch pads will allow you to have a massive upside, massive flips that are almost instantaneous. Because when you get an allocation to a launch pad, maybe you only get to put 500 or 1,000 bucks in. But when the market gets hot, those launch pads will do 5, 10, sometimes 50x. And so that 500 bucks can actually become something tremendously substantial and it's fully liquid right then, so you could just sell it immediately. Launch pads are a great way to double, triple, quadruple up your money here and build a little nest egg that you can buy better projects with. So once again, if you're running it up from zero, be scrappy. I've literally given this channel so many Xs over the last few months, and really for the last 12 months, since I started buying after the bear market, I believe that this channel, whoever was doing what I was doing, and again, you shouldn't just blindly follow anyone, but if you did what I did, you'd be up astronomically right now. And this is my plan for 2024. Make no mistake, I agree with Ansem. And if you're not following Ansem, go check him out. Pretty advanced stuff. He moves fast. He moves very fast here. I'm trying to get him to join YouTube so he can give you more uh, long form content. But we're going to run it up so aggressively next year. It's going to be insane. Absolutely insane. Remember to zoom out, bros, and see where we're at. 
see where this chart looks like when you really zoom out. Because when you start to understand that the real crazy part of the market hasn't even started yet, and we're already seeing 10 X's in gaming, we're already seeing $200,000 airdrops to 17 year olds on Solana. These are the things that people would consider total mania. And in my opinion, we're just warming up as a market cycle. So this is gonna be the biggest market cycle of all time if things continue to grow like this. And to me, if you missed everything this far, you should just prepare yourself and make a plan of how you're going to allocate to the market, how you're going to be a part of the next wave of what I think of is the easiest gift to actually grow financially, to break free financially. And you also have to accept the odds that we're all gambling here for our future because the system as it is today does not allow you to simply work a basic job and break free financially. You have to take risks. And this is the risk that I think makes the most sense for this generation. Again, I could be wrong. I'm just a dude with the webcam. If you guys enjoyed this stuff, you know what to do. Smash that like button, turn post notifications on, and make sure you have notifications on for Superverse. There is some absolute magic coming in January. As always, I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to check out my last few Bible videos here because they've been absolutely jam-packed with alpha that you need to navigate this market. And I'll see you very soon on the next episode.